Hey, my little adventure buddies. Today, I wanna to talk to you about using Foley in your adventure videos and why it will take your videos to the next level. Hi, I'm Michael Wright, and normally on this channel, I do miscellaneous adventures and things, and I'm also a professional filmmaker. I do a lot of documentaries, cooking shows, and I've even done adventures and things for the television. So anyways, enough me trying to justify why I'm doing this. Let's just get into it. So Foley is the sounds that you hear while you're in a place. So for me doing adventures and things, if I'm in the forest, it's the footsteps, it's the birds chirping, it's the wind blowing through the trees. That's Foley. That is your sound effects, essentially. So we've all seen people's adventure videos that are absolutely incredible. Like the cinematography is top notch. It's absolutely amazing. And then it's just music underneath. It's just a soundtrack playing and it kind of fits the mood or whatever. And you're just like, yeah, that's pretty good. That's, that's, that's good. The cinematography is bang on. The music's cool, but I just don't feel like I'm in it. I just, yeah, it's, it's good, but it's not amazing. And the reason for that is, is because people always seem to forget to put in Foley. I have, I struggle with that. I, I have a big issue with forgetting that because I want to put out my YouTube videos once a week and you know, you get tied down with, with work and doing other things and then Foley is the last thing that you put in and you're just like, ah, I gotta get this out so I'm gonna do it. And, uh, and it's to the detriment of my own channel and it's to the detriment of many filmmakers out there, but Foley is important. Make sure you use it. So the, the reason why Foley is important is because here's the difference between Foley and just music. So music conveys the emotion that you want for your video. And Foley works really well with your cinematography in bringing you into that place. So you can feel the emotion of that place in the cinematography and it's beautiful and everything, but to really bring people into that place, you need the Foley, you need that there. When you're walking through the forest and you don't hear the footsteps, then it doesn't really take you into that place, right? Like it, it seems weird. I'll show you here. So you can see a big difference there. And to me, I feel like the one with the footstep sound really brings you into that place. It makes you maybe even feel like you're walking beside me or something, right? Like that's, that's important. The other important thing is, is to make sure that your footsteps line up. Now, what I mean by that is you don't want to have this. Now that's kind of funny, right? Like that's hilarious. If you're going for comedy, then do that. I, I, I would be game for that. If, you're, if you want to be like professional, um, then make sure that what you're walking on matches up to what the sound of what you're walking on is. If you're walking on gravel and it sounds like you're splashing in puddles, people are going to be like, what the hell am I watching here? You know, if there's like, if you're walking on a hard surface and it, and it sounds like gravel, it's confusing and it makes people click off your videos. Um, another thing is to, with your footsteps, make sure like if you're like, don't, they're not just like always like this, but if you're walking away, it sounds like you're walking away. Um, that That's like these minor little details that go a long way. Once again, it's something that I have to remind myself about all the time. Um, so then the other thing I like to do is capture ambient noise. Ambient noise is really important. I like to take my um, H5 uh, zoom recorder and go and catch about a minute of ambient noise in the woods. Now this is a tip for any filmmaking at all. You want to get like room tone, ambient noise, anything like that. So 20 seconds to a minute. If you're on a film set, 20 seconds is about all you're going to get. People aren't going to have enough patience to wait for uh for you to get more than 20 seconds trust me i've been kicked off a lot of film sets because of it now but but about 20 seconds is what you're gonna need and, and and the reason why you want that ambience is because it's something that you can have to fill in the gaps um of the sound you know um it's really if, if you're out on a walk and 
you hear the birds chirping, the wind through the trees, the branches snapping, you walking, everything. That's what really brings that walk. That's what that hike and everything is all about. And um, in order to get that and to have it really to, to go there, you need that ambient noise. Um, you know, I even use this sometimes to record my footsteps. Sometimes if I know I'm going to be walking by somewhere, I'll set this up and, and have my uh, have my footsteps being recorded. So on this, I won't get too much into the zoom recorder, but on the back of this too, it has a little three quarter inch um, uh, screw. So I take my monopod sometimes and screw that in the back. And as I'm walking, I just hold my um, hold my recorder by my feet and it gets really good sound. Um, anyways, enough about that. Let's move on and um, talk about music and the ambient noise and the footsteps and the music and Foley together. Now, you don't want to have your music drowning out your Foley and you don't want your Foley drowning out your music. I would have, I usually have my music just a little bit louder than my Foley. The Foley you should just be able to hear enough to bring you into that uh, space. It shouldn't be over drowning everything. The emotion is really more of what you want to convey. So the uh, music should just be a little bit louder and then the Foley there. So I'm going to show you about, um, I'm going to show you about 15 seconds of video here. One with the Foley and music and one without the Foley and music and uh, see what you think, see which one you like better. Let me know in the comments below. Um, personally, I like the one with the Foley and, and everything in it, but... Um So that was my tips on Foley. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a lot of um, a lot of value out of this. And if you want more tutorials and adventures and things, then uh, I suggest you subscribe. Um, I'm gonna take more time and make my videos better on this channel. I, I need the accountability to just make better videos. So with doing the filmmaking aspect of this and as well the adventures, it's just gonna hold me accountable. And I really hope that you guys hold me accountable as well to do this. So uh, I just, I feel like I haven't grown that much as a filmmaker more than, I, I feel like I should grow more as a filmmaker for the amount of time I put in, but I feel like I've rushed too much to get uh, YouTube videos out once a week. So what I'm gonna do is do like tutorials to remind me of the things that I have to do and hopefully to help you become a better filmmaker. And then I'm gonna do adventures and things as well. So uh, if, if that sounds interesting to you, then maybe subscribe and come along on this journey. And uh, well, don't forget to get out for some adventures and things.